Welcome back to Railroads Online. We are on the final episode. Uh, we're here at the freight depot. We've just, uh, in the last episode, added a cardboard car in the middle to our train, ready to uh, finish this off. So let's uh, jump into Trinity here and, um, and head off. If I can find the... Yeah, the, the hitbox... <laughs> can be very hard to find sometimes. Alright, let's go. We're on the main line here. All the tracks are relatively straight, so we can definitely put some uh, power onto it and, and head on off. Looking at the map quickly, we're in the middle there, heading south, we'll go past the oil field, um, it was audio for a sec, um, and we're going to go down here, down here, past the, um, up the refinery, and, um, and finish down. Mogul's nice and fast here. Um, I like to use the Mogul or Class 70 for these type of runs just to the distance and having the water and the plywood supply just makes it easier. I'm tempted to remove this cross track here. I've never used it. Um, I've had several floating in the air. I haven't even finished properly doing it. It kind, of looks, it kind of looks natural to be there, um, just because something doesn't have any reason to exist. Or it, can, it can stay probably. Onto the straight. <clears throat> Let's get some uh, real action going. The track we're going on today, I've actually never driven on. Uh, I've always been using the, the southerly pass into the refinery. Um, you can see that way down the bottom there. And uh, I decided to add the northerly way to the refinery too, so uh, it'd be fun to show that to you for the first time for me and you. Okay. speed this is. I think the um, there's specs online that tell you the top speed. It looks pretty fast. I mean, it's definitely faster than running. There are some points ahead. Uh, the last time we went down this main line on the left. This is off the oil field here. Um, coming back, this is going to be wrong. I'd rather pass points and not worry about derailing. Um, since we're going to be stopping anyway ahead, um, we've kind of lost our speed anyway. Yeah, we're going to um, come back up this line. This is the main line. So uh, we'll be able to go flying past there now. Yeah, up ahead, um, the line is is switched uh, to go into the ironworks and so I need to design to go straight south kind of onto the platforms on the, 
right hand side as we look at it at the eyewards, we want to take that left fork off and go to the higher line. <laughs> Lost my mouse then. <clears throat> That's a bit out of control. Alright. Okay. Yeah, driving and um, doing video editing at the same time, live video editing can be a bit problematic. Semi easier through here, fifty percent. The last point that we need to change is just at the refinery. We'll be slowing down for that anyway. So that's my biggest concern. This is the end of the uh, the dual track main line. Basically, it's single lines to the left and single lines to the right as you go over this way. There's a big loop around the refinery. Ahead of us is that uh, pass that if you were able to climb up over it, this is how you would get to the coal mine. Yeah. So our first task is going to be to unload the lumber. Both of them will require backing into the platform. You can snake the platform in and out at the refinery. It's not really what the developers wanted, I don't think. And I kind of want to do it a little bit more true and to how it would be done. I mean, the whole point between the refinery and the oil field is to force you to do train operations. So yeah, we'll drive past it and then back in the back of the train, the back of the train has some lumber on it. We'll back those in, park and drop them off. Then we'll drive forward, split the train, do the other ones, and then we'll be on our way home. Or we'll be empty and then we can start doing the loading process. So, uh, major takeaway from the first time driving that line is uh, there's no trees on the track, so that was good news. These points are just up here. Yeah, I think this tree needs to get cleared. That's a bit of a visibility issue. And maybe it's friend behind it too. Ah, oh, that's all right. Yeah, so welcome to the refinery. hitbox is I'm not sure where they want you to stand I th I've got a feeling I might be standing on the left hand side a little bit too much let's pull the bell tell the locals that we're here bring the volume of the train up a bit again so we can hear that bell bell going so there's three lanes here very quick view of the map and so it's a matter of uh, going past and backing into each of them. Um, first one's crude oil, uh, second one is the pipes and the third one is the lumber. So we'll be going past all these and backing into this one twice. Uh, we can use this lane or the lane over here for a temporary holding area. This point, these are all correct. We um, fixed these ones last time when we left. Uh, 
or two episodes ago. But we will need to fix these ones at the end here. Going forward to the right uh, takes you down the hill. <clears throat> That's the way we'll exit. Um, but for now, we'll be using this left-hand track because it, that has a downward slope to it, and I don't want to be backing up that. But this is nice and flat, so um, we'll be using that as our lane. Um, we'll do the back ones first, I guess. Yeah, much more of a fiddly operation in this area. It's not a you know, pull in, drop it off, continue on. Kind of reminds me of the cordwood at the smelter a bit. Yeah, I might need to clear more trees here. As much as I like the trees being around, the um, just the sight lines going to be really hard. So we need to clear this point here. Caboose, may, I mean. Caboose is great and all, but it's just going to get in the way in this situation. Um, the second set of eyes, though, would be fantastic multiplayer, this particular part of the game, for sure. It is, uh, would make it a lot easier. Reminds me of the smelter um, loading the raw iron beams. is quite problematic because the train's so long, and um, it does make it quite hard to see what you're doing. Um, yeah, we'll just park them over there. You know what? <clears throat> what we're going to do, I'm going to use that stone wall to our advantage up there. So, much like with co the cordwood, I'm going to use a little pushing technique to, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ooh, that's not going to fit though, no. So my plan was to push the... Oh, they'll fit. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Sorry for the ind uh, indecision there. You'll see what I mean. Oh, I'm going to open this other door up. Just because I can. Let someone go for a ride. If they want. Yeah, I keep on emptying the train from the left, but the driving position is on the right. Um, so I think they've kind of made the, the hitbox more designed for a right hand side clicking, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we're quite blind here. Yeah, so the plan is that we'll go in, drop these off, pull forward, and then I'll roll the all these five into this lane. I'm looking at the shadows here to help me. So that's that's definitely a shadow between cars. I believe it's that one. Yeah, because that one's that one. So we need to go back a little bit further. Actually, that platform looks like it's very short. It's like it's only like one worth. I'm going to pull it forward. I'm using the middle gap shadow. I want it kind of like in the middle of the platform. All right. Yep, that's pretty good. I like that. I'm going to drop a save because I'm paranoid. Unload you. Unload you. So we'll go up to 12. Now we've brought 30, but this will um, work its way down because we have supplies. We have pipe supplies and um, crude oil supplies. So those that will burn down to close to zero before we get back here. 
here. So we're going to pull forward and then we'll reverse into this one um, and then drop off these other three. Yep. Even from the left hand side. All right, let's pull forward. Oops, wrong way. Pull forward. So the end of the train needs to pass this point. Nearly there. Yeah, I need to put some markings on the ground, I think. I'm just going to use this point here. It's very hard to see the trains. I'm just going to get more, way more than I need to. That should be enough. Alright. So I'm actually going to pull this pin here. So when we go back, oh, that's correct. Yeah, that one. Uh, she'll roll backwards, and then gently we'll do it gently, and we'll hit hit that stone wall. Hopefully, it's going to fit. So it should be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and we should be fine. There's um. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we should, that boxcar is going to get tight, but uh, we should be good. Yeah, so that pin is pulled. Okay, single operations, single person operations. Come on. All right, there we go. All right. So the main thing we need to do is make sure we don't um, have this one past those points because we want to be able to flip those points after it rolls past us. That should be enough. As long as this doesn't pass that. Alright. Let momentum and gravity do its job. Thanks for the box card to get clear. It is. It's going to go up there and hit that stone wall. Hopefully, it doesn't. I didn't do it too hard. Yep, she's fine. Do the same trick with cordwood at the uh, smelter. Get this uh, three lots of lumber chopped off. Once again, shadows are good here. Um, I'm not even going to risk trying to do three at once. I'm just going to do these two. Oh, did I? Gonna reach? That's not gonna reach. What did I do wrong there? Uh, I was playing around with the tracks a bit. Oh, so not the tracks, the the, the trains uh, makeup. And I think I may have uh, added one which I shouldn't have. 
because there's no way that's going to fit. Okay, looks like we're just going to be delivering. Yep, looks like we're going to have to do some a little bit more shunting then. Uh, yeah, if I'd known that, I should have either added one more or. Um, Do the same trick again, push it down the line. Yeah, we should have. I should have brought one more lumber then. Hmm. Yeah, this part I haven't done before, so uh, I was doing it with just singles before. I haven't been trying to take larger ops. So, uh, yeah, you saw my mistake in action. Um, I can't remember if I... Uh, yeah. Yeah, much like with the um, hand cart, you don't need to push it, push it much. I'm actually going to reattach this when it gets there. That way I don't have to worry about it bouncing and not being attached. And because that's moving like that, I'll give that a uh, break. Alright. Yeah, quite a little technical challenge. The um, stone walls really do help a lot. Um, that rolling uh, action does uh, reduce the amount of effort a little bit. You don't have to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I don't really notice it, but I like to leave my reverse in the direction I'm about to go next. Right, make sure we have it. Yep, we're good. Alright, so we're going to end up with this pipe spare right now, and so it's 16, 25, yeah, so these are all going to get worked down. All right, so let's uh, rejoin this train together. Yeah, this UI is still a bit, looks like they've got some sampling, maybe every second or something. The synchronization isn't, I can see the point because, you know, sometimes you don't want it to drop until you let go of the mouse, and other times, like the whistle, you do want it to happen. So, yeah, I can see, the, the compl as a developer, I understand the complexity of the issue. It's not overly uh, obvious how to approach it. Because um, there is different behaviours, so uh, kudos to the team for doing what they have done so far. Because it's not not easy. Uh, you you do kind of have some conflicting requirements going on. I think once they get alternate input devices, uh, that will be uh, that'll be interesting. But even then, like you know, say you have a joystick slider. Um, what what do you do if that joystick slider isn't, say, mechanical and isn't taking feedback um, and it's not representative of what the game has versus what it has? Um, yeah, it's not, it's not an easy problem to fix.
Oh, I thought that bounced. Ah. <laughs> Alright, what I might do is just put the regular regulator on a tiny amount and keep pressure on the um oh. wheels are spinning, come on, you can do it. Make your mind up. Are you going to do it? Is it going to roll forward? Yeah, the physics don't like the stone wall too much. I'll leave that regulator on pretty hard. Hopefully it's pushing up against it. Okay, there we go. Capture. Alright. Let's uh, finish this off. So, we need to go over there and pick up uh, the tools. So, we're just going to go forward and around. Just going to quickly run over here. Not picking up tools, pick up the barrels. So, we'll run around here. Flip this switch. Then we're going to go around to the left. Is this what he set to the left? This is set. Uh, oh, we came in, so no. We come around the loop. And we'll have to break for the points that are wrong here. I'll jump out and let that roll off. So that one's correct. That one's correct around the loop. Yeah. Give, Give it a bit more beans. Oops. This the past, we'll clean up the tracks. I do like the highlights, you know exactly um, what it's going to affect. The physics, from what I understand, is not based on the rails, it's based on the entire asset, you know, graphical asset. So, even though you may not be on the rail, say, for example, way up there, um, it does matter. All right, and then when we come around the loop, we'll go around, we'll pick up stuff, we'll come around, go down here, and we'll go down the hill next time. So I'll fix that too. Making sure not to do it before I've passed it. Helps too. Alright, so. Jump on board.
the way there. Cool looking pile of barrels right there right now. Kind of down the back, so it's going to be hard to see, but these uh, shoot things do make it quite easy, or at least more visible. I didn't catch the number as we went past, but we'll uh, have a quick look at that before we call it an episode. No shadows to help us this time, really. Oh, we have no oil pressure. Blood pressure. I was wondering why it was so quiet. All right, well, we've got to put the uh, we've got to put the fire in. All right, so uh, we'll leave it there. Um, yeah, we'll pull it forward a little bit further, and then uh, next episode we will finish this all off. And uh, thanks for watching.